Hey everybody, Wonia here, and I am on a road trip currently on my way to teach at the Winter Camp Gathering, and I tied my poles securely to the top of my car, but I forgot one of the most important principles when tying stuff up to the top of your car, to put a twist in the straps, or several twists, so that they don't make that awful buzzing sound from that flat piece catching the wind and vibrating crazily in this point, vibrating right against the roof of my car, under my cargo box, and right above my head. Well, it's driving me crazy <laughs> and making me have to turn my app my Audible app up way too loud and I don't want to blow out my ears by the time I get there. So I'm stopping to do a quick fix and I thought, oh, this is a useful little survival car, <laughs> not really survival, come on, but little road trip hack. So I've got this strap and it was going just flat, kept nice and straight so that it could fit through the little ratchet part, right? But that makes it the perfect surface to catch the wind. So what I have done is put a bunch of twists into it and then in addition to that, to make it angled so that it's less likely to catch the wind, even if those twists don't do the job, what I've done is I've put a piece of paracord around it and I've made it a tight cinch. So I did a loop into the end of my paracord with a figure eight knot as opposed to just an overhand knot on a bite because that's gonna make it way easier to get back out when I'm done with the trip and also it puts less strain on the rope. An overhand knot is one of those knots that's really hard to get out if it's been pulled under tension and it also actually really degrades the strength of your rope because it makes such a tight twist. So a figure eight knot, better on the rope, better on the person trying to take it out. An overhand knot would just be taking a bite here, making a loop, and then passing the bite through it. A figure eight knot looks like making a loop, and then instead of going right through, wrapping around the taut end, and then back through the loop. See the difference? It's got an extra loop in there. And then I passed through that loop, making what we would call kind of a lark's head by making a loop and then passing the end of my rope through that loop. And that allows me to have it be a nice tight hold so that I'll be able to put tension on it and not have it just slide along that twist. If I just pass it through the loop, it's gonna slide all around, it's not gonna be tight. So in order to get it, in order to get it to take a nice bite on it, I'm gonna take the loop, put that on the other side and then feed the end of my rope through that. And now when I put tension, I haven't passed the whole end through, but you see it really holds on to it. So under tension, this is gonna have a good grip on it, whereas a loop would just slide. So what I'm doing now is pulling it under so that that piece of paracord is to the middle of the car, and then I'm gonna finish the ratchet strap, and then I will tie this off to one of the back parts of the cargo rack here so that it's gonna pull it at an angle and it's gonna be way less inclined to catch the wind. So maybe five minutes to do and it's gonna save me hours and hours of frustration of listening to that buzzing of my rope. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Can't do it while holding my phone and then I will report back. Back on the road now and you can see some beautiful snowy mountains behind me. Epic landscape, just so much wide open space. And do you hear that? That noise that you don't hear is the ratchet strap that was so deafeningly loud for the first little while of my journey. And now it's not making a sound. So excellent fix. Good little trick to know if you're someone who travels with too much stuff and some of it strapped to the top of your car like I do.